another award show and a hundred more variations on a wave. So my favorite one that I've seen lately is just super soft and sexy, not too fussy, and that's my hairspiration for this look. So I'm gonna start by prepping my hair with this Pillow Proof Primer. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me a little heat protection and it's gonna give my hair a lot of bounce when I blow it out. Give it a good shake till the two levels mix up, right? Here we go, we're just gonna give it a light mist all over. So my next product is gonna be Redken Stay High 18. And the cool thing about this is that it's actually a gel to mousse and it's gonna give my hair crazy amounts of volume and texture. So I'm gonna start by shaking it up. I'm gonna put a little bit in my hand here. See, it's a gel now, but after I emulsify, it turns right into a mousse, like a magic trick. Totally cool, right? Start working this into my hair. And you just wanna make sure that you really concentrate the product onto your root, because that's where you're gonna want the most volume. Just kind of make sure you get even distribution all over your head so you don't wind up with any flat spots. And once you feel like you've got a good, good amount of coverage going on, I'm just gonna go back in and start to blow dry my hair. And I'm gonna use a flat brush. I actually prefer to use a flat brush on my own hair because I feel like it's so much easier than a round brush. And it's faster and I can get the same amount of volume. So I started from the bottom, and I just worked my way up to this point using my flat brush. The key to getting volume with a flat brush is all about the elevation. So I'm coming through and I'm really like holding everything up high and sort of curving it back down. And that's what's gonna create this good amount of root lift that I've got going on in here. So I'm gonna just continue on to my top section. Everything is gonna be going straight up from the head, just like this. And your arms are gonna get really, really tired but I promise it's gonna be worth it. So now that we're all dried and ready to go, we're gonna put some waves in. So I like to start, just to make my life a little easier, I like to start with like half the amount of hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like section off from my ears up. So I am actually gonna use a flat iron to make my waves because I feel like with a curling iron, I just don't have as much control as I want, and I feel like the result is just a little bit smoother and a little easier than a curling iron. And you wanna have like a decent amount of hair. You don't wanna have like a really wimpy section or a section that's too big, because if your section's too big, it's just gonna be really difficult. And, and you kinda need to start with your fingers in the front of the flat iron. If you try to start with your thumb in the front of the flat iron, you're not gonna be able to go that way. Like, it just won't work and you're gonna come all the way up, kind of close to your head, not so close you're gonna burn yourself. And then you're gonna gently clamp down and turn about halfway down to the end. If you mess anything up or get a kink, don't sweat it. You can just iron it right back out. If it comes out too curly, you can straighten it back out. Fingers in the front, turn halfway. Still holding onto my ends because I don't want it to fall out and then drop it and you get a nice soft little wave. So I'm just gonna work my way around my head. Hold on to the ends, come into the root, fingers forward, turn halfway, and just drop. The glory of the flat iron curl is the fact that they're not all gonna be identical and they don't have to be. It kind of looks cooler that way, you know? So just, just grab what you can see. And if they're not perfect, that's totally fine. I'm just kind of turning my head here so I can see what's going on back there. So I'm just gonna move up to the next section on my head and just continue curling how I've been curling. So when you get to the top, you want to be really careful not to put your flat iron all the way up to the root. Because if you do, you're going to pull out all that awesome volume that you just spent that time putting in. So you're kind of going to come in more to the middle section of your hair than the top of your hair. So now that I've got all my curls in place, I'm just going to go through and refine them a little bit and just give them a little bit more texture and pieciness. And that's where this diamond oil spray comes in. It's a high shine spray. 
So I just want to give a little mist to the ends. Remember to keep that away from your root because you don't want to take out that volume you just spent all that time on. And there you have it. Nice soft waves. <laughs>